In this episode, I will render a night scene in Lumion and show you how to apply lighting settings for this scene and create realistic render in Lumion. Hey guys, I'm Milad and here is Desire School channel. Welcome back to another episode of Lumion Lighting series. We created a series of videos about lighting effects and settings in Lumion to help you create better renders in Lumion. In this series of videos, we will show you how to apply lighting for your renders in different situations. If you didn't watch previous episodes, I highly recommend you to watch them. I put links to them in description. Please go and check them. Today I will show you how to create a realistic night render in Lumion. In the night renders, we have few natural light from a sky in the room and we should use artificial lights to illuminate our render. So we should place spotlights and omni lights near our light sources in the Lumion. Ok, let's jump on the screen. Import 3D model in the Lumion and apply a stereo foam effect. And the next apply real sky effect. Go to the night tab and choose one of the night skies. In the Lumion night renders, it's better to choose brighter skies in order to add more environment light in the room. This environment light helps us to show details better, so don't go for very dark skies. You can change the position of the sky by heading the slider. Now it's time to add a skylight effect. This effect creates a nice ambient light from the sky. Turn on ultra option in the render quality. You can bring more light in the room from the sky by increasing brightness amount. Add reflection effect into the scene. In the reflection effect menu, turn on speed ray option. Then choose edit reflection plane button and select surfaces that they need accurate reflection. Now add shadow effect. In the shadow effect settings, turn on soft shadows and fine detail shadows. Reduce Omni Shadow and Brightness Values A little increase interior and exterior amount In the previous episodes of this series, you can find more information about shadow effect settings Now disable a stereo foam effect to check render with materials there is a nice environment light in the room. Let's add artificial light in the scene. It's better to place them in a new layer. Before starting lighting, you should know spotlights cast shadows, but omni light and field lights did not create shadows, so we have to use them at the same time to create best results. Go to the light objects and choose one of the spotlights. Here I prefer a smaller ones. Place a spotlight under the light bulbs object. After selecting all of the spotlights, reduce brightness amount. Here I prefer to set it 5. Let's check it. As you see, we can see a spotlight's effect in the render, but it's not look real. We should have more lights around the light bulbs. So get back to the light objects and this time select Omni light and place it near each light bulb. Select all Omni light and reduce brightness amount and increase fall off amount. Fall off control the effective range of light. As the fall off amount increase, the light emission radius decrease. Now, you can see some lights around the light bulbs. Let's add lights for the light bulb in the middle of the room. 
place an omni light under the light bulb and adjust its brightness and fall off amount. After that, choose one of the wide angle spotlights and place it under light bulb and modify it. It's better to place another spotlight a little upper than the light bulb. By doing this, we have better shadows on the floor and the highlights around the light bulb. Let's check the renderer. Okay, as you see, we have nice light and shadows in the scene. But they need more adjustment and light bulbs are still dark. I want to apply emissive material for the light bulbs to make them shiny. You can apply lens flare into the scene to create a nice shiny effect around the light bulbs. As you see now light bulbs are illuminated, but I want more brightness in the room. To do this add global illumination effect in your scene. This effect analyzes all surfaces illuminated. After the analysis, global illumination places probes light on these surfaces to simulate reflected light. In this effects menu, press the select light button, then choose the spotlights in the scene. After that, in the bottom of the screen, increase the spotlight GI amount. As you see, by increasing it, our scene becomes brighter. Now you can see how this effect changes your render lighting. Ok, I'm going to do final optimization for my render. Increase exposure to make render brighter. Turn on two point perspective effect. Add sharpen effect into the scene and reduce its default amount. Let's see the final render. I like final results. You can see nice shadows and highlights in the scene and there is a good balance between shadows and lights in the room. I hope you like this video. Please like and share this video to the people who use Lumion. Thank you so much. Stay safe.